In this video, I only get 100 blocks. However, as the series continues, I unlock more of my plot. Each episode will unlock the next area for me to build with. This is episode 2, so I get this square. As you can see, we now have a lot of room to work with on our house, but let's see what we did last episode. Alrighty guys, so today I have three objectives. I want to be able to expand this house layout, I want to start some landscaping, and I want to start the roofing. So it's really simple, but it's a lot more work than you guys think. Alright, we got ourselves a nice stairwell here. I kind of like this design. Alrighty guys, I think I got myself a nice first floor layout here. I'm going to pop up what rooms are going to be in where here on the screen. As you can see, this is my layout for the upstairs. But as you can see, there's another problem I have to take care of first. The exterior does not look very good at all. Let's try and change that. While I'm working away here, now would be a great time to check in. Are you subscribed to the channel? If not, please go down and hit that subscribe button. I would love to hit 4,000 subscribers here soon, and you guys have been supporting the videos a lot lately. So thank you guys so much for your support, and let's get right back into the video. All right, this corner's looking pretty nice right now. Until I get more room, this is gonna have to do for the front side of our house, but for now, I need to work on this roofing up here. All right, this is not my greatest roof, but for now, it's just gonna have to do the job until I have more room to work with. All right, now that I've done a bunch of work on my exterior, it's time to start this interior. I think that'll work for my flooring. Now let's work on the library. For a library, I think I like this color palette. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna move these around and I'm gonna have a bathroom right here. I think adding in that painting there works very well. Adding in some beanbags there works, now I need to get some lights. Now that we have some lights in here, I want to make a custom ladder. You know what, since it's the Christmas season, we might as well add in a little Christmas tree. This room's pretty much complete, now I just have to make this door look a little bit better. That looks great, let's go. This library looks amazing. Now let's work on this entryway right here. Alrighty, so we had to get some steps to go inside the house, now let's add some stuff on these. Oh yeah, that looks great, holy cow. Alright, this area's looking pretty good. As you can see here, I got a decal along the bench and another fireplace. I've decided to change what I want to do in this room, I want to make this be a laundry room. Alrighty, I'd say our laundry room is looking pretty good right here. I'm gonna hold off this side of the house until the next episode, so that way I can see what I want to do whenever I expand my house. You're gonna have to stay tuned to see what I do. Although what I can do now is I can decorate this half bathroom. Alright, I think this bathroom looks really good. I'm also gonna hold off on this room until the next episode as well, because I want to expand the house out this way. Now we can work on this bedroom. Alrighty, I finished the layout on my bedroom here. You're gonna walk in, you're gonna have your closet, your bathroom, and then you're gonna have an office, and then you're gonna have the actual bedroom. Now I gotta get some lights in here. Awesome, I think these lights work really well. Now let's just paint our bed. Awesome, that looks great. Alright, I think this is done now, let's work on the bathroom. Alright, bathroom is done, time to work on the closet. And our closet is done, let's go. Alrighty guys, so like I said earlier, these rooms are going to be saved off for next episode, so now let's landscape the back. I would like to start off by covering up this ugly corner right here with some trees. Alright, I really like how that covers up this corner right here, it's not going to do the job up here for now, but I can probably cover that up later with a chimney. I'm going to move these over here to the right side so I can actually add in a fence gate so you can go into your backyard. Alright, this looks really good, now we can just add in a little path, and then I can work on the backyard stuff later. We can't do too much work until we unlock the next area, so for now this is going to have to do. Let's get some bushes along the side. Alright, this view actually looks really good. I just want to try and cover up this side of the house. Alright, and also using different shades of green and this orange really work out well. I really like this design for now. Until I figure out what the rest of my yard wants to look like, I do not know how I'm going to landscape this because I don't want to ruin any views from the windows. So now let's work on the upstairs hallway. As you can see, I've already painted up here, but now I just have to decorate. I like this little area being a nice storage area because we, let's be honest with ourselves, we all have one spot like this in our house. I'd say this looks pretty good. Now let's go work in this lounge area. Honestly, I'd say this is pretty good. Alrighty guys, today as I'm making this video, the Blocks for Christmas update just came out, so I'm gonna be adding in these decorations to my plot. Let's start in by adding in some Christmas lights. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm in the Christmas spirit. How about you? Alright, you know what? You might as well just put a Christmas tree in this corner. And we need one big one right here. Adding in a small detail like this ice covered edge here works out really well. Personally, I've always wanted ice sculptures, so this really makes me happy. What do you think of the update? Also, I figured I should probably change this all to winter landscaping, shouldn't I? Much better. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode.